Alexander was 35 when the USSR collapsed in 1991. Since then, he has been collecting anything and everything that talks back to the Soviet era. His museum, called Ticket to the USSR, includes thousands of objects. This nostalgia isn't about the political system or the state. It's about people, events, our history, our youth and the stupid things that we did. Of course, I miss it all and I would like to share it with others. Twenty-five years after its collapse, the Soviet Union lives on in parts of Moscow. Vedin Park opened in 1939 to showcase Soviet achievements. The names of the former Soviet republics are still inscribed on the pavilions. This place was built and created by the people and seen as a symbol, as a promise of a happy, joyous life. Today, right here, you can see an example of the life that will someday be all over the USSR, not just in Moscow. Well, some feel nostalgia for the Soviet Union. For countless people, the communist era was a time of torment and suffering. And your memorial has been fighting to save the memory of millions of victims of the Soviet regime. This plaque marks the location of one of the first Gulag labor camps in the very center of Moscow. We shouldn't only remember our glorious past, we should also remember the shameful things. If we don't remember them, if we don't think these over, our future generations will see the world in black and white, which is frightening and dangerous. But critics say that officials are increasingly trying to whitewash the crimes of the past. Memorial itself has been swept up in a government crackdown on civil society. And according to recent polls, over half of Russians now regret the fall of the USSR.